I drove nearly two hours to play this golf course. And what I expected was a beautiful mountain style golf course and we absolutely got that. But what I didn't expect was one of the weirdest, most unique, if not one of the most difficult layouts I've ever played. And we ended up getting that too. Weird layout, but kind of cool. Let's go. I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's actually very confusing even looking at the map. Today we see harsh winds, steep elevation changes, blind tee shots, and narrow dog legs as we're about to play all 18 holes at Sky Valley Country Club. I told you guys, once we start getting into the fall months, we're gonna be playing some courses that we've never played before. This one is just west of the Sapphire Highlands Cashiers area, which is like private golf mecca, heaven, whatever you wanna call it. This is a course that came super highly recommended from a number of people that I've played with that kind of live out in this area. So I'm really pumped about the round. The course rate's a 74.2 with a 139 slope, and at the tips, the black tees play at 6,900 yards, actually it's like 6,960, so it's a pretty big course and the wind is a little aggressive today. So for a first time out there, I think the goal is gonna be trying to break 85 on this course. So with that in mind, we're gonna tee off on hole number one, it's par five. It looks like there could be an angle to try to cut a corner over a mound here, but I don't know this course well enough. So we're just gonna play over to the corner, maybe hug a little bit to the right-hand side, and then there'll be a long second shot in, I believe. But welcome to the channel if you're somebody who's new, looking to maybe see Sky Valley or other Western North Carolina golf courses, and let's go ahead and tackle Sky Valley here at the tips. Oh yeah, that's the middle of the fairway. A little left, but that's gonna be safe. Uh, we got a long way to go here still off this second shot. We're not gonna be able to get there and there's a lake kind of guarding. So we wanna go right. It's actually gonna be a line that's kind of off the right side of those windows that are up there. So three woods to call, nice smooth swing. Let's see. That'll be safe. It's on the right side, a little too fady for my liking, but it'll be safe. It's right of my line, like I mentioned. So let's go up, find out, have a good third shot. I think we may have hit one of these trees and we settled right here just in the rough. We still have a pretty good mar margin in. It's 130, dead onto the fan. I'm gonna play a, a little sawed off pitching wedge though towards the front right side of the green. And uh, we're just gonna play the front curtain. If we're a little long, we're a little long. Let's go, let's have a good swing here. Yeah, I just got a little bit on top of it, but it was the right line. Uh, I think it rolled just past and over the top of the green, but all in all, we're fine. Again, we're just gonna try to get up and down here for par. Not the smoothest start ever, but not the worst either. We really can't complain. Slow down, slow down. Okay, good putt. All right, a little figuring out to do with the uh, speeds of the greens. A little bogey to start, that's a tough par five. Uh, so here we go, hole number two coming up. Cool little water feature here off the tee box, let's go. 445 par four, you could see the green from the top of this elevated tee box, but there's a 150 yard marker that's kind of out in a corner. That's gonna be the line with driver here. That's uh, big yardage off the tee markers, but a lot of it's down the hill, including this opening tee shot, and even further than that, even the second shot goes in towards the green. So, driver, right over that line. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna be incredible. Yeah, I really like the speed. Yeah, it's pretty much perfect speed. Okay, two putt par from that range. We take that, let's go baby. Yeah, so hole number three, par four, 376 doggling into the left. There's a bunker that's out there that's only about 220 yards. We're gonna try to take the seven wood here and play for the draw pretty much off that line. See if we can get this thing to come a little bit left. I think the signature of this course, like the emblem and the design is like this chimney post and it's uh, right here in front of the tee box. So let's hope we don't hit that either. <laughs> you 
exactly what we wanted. Yep. Might need a set. <laughs> There's a guy that's letting me play up and uh, he gave me a good little fist pump and a nice shot. So I caught that a little bit thin, but I think it's gonna work out great. Putting for birdie, I think, let's go. Bogey par par, we take these greens in regulation, two putts, love that. Got a par three over water here. It's playing about 150 and the pin position's right in the middle, but we're right into the fan and the back of the green is like 180. So we're gonna take seven iron here just to make sure we clear, make sure we get something that's towards the middle of the green, if not a little bit past the pin here. So seven iron for us, hitting about a 170 shot. Hopefully the wind just doesn't die as soon as we take a swing and we'll be in a good position hopefully to get another birdie on the card. Not sure where that bounced to, but the wind definitely died right as I was taking that swing like I mentioned. We'll see, I like the way that I hit it for the most part. It's just the wind absolutely died right when we took our swing. So <laughs> let's see if we can find it and hopefully just get another par here for a little long. That is not gonna be close for par. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. Yikes. Nope. Oh. Just at the end. I thought I had that one. All right, tough double. Yeah, we're not gonna let that one sit in the head whatsoever. We're happy with how we're rolling the putter right now. So that's the great news off of what we just had was a sloppy hole by score, but who cares? Uh, big par four, 455, a little up the hill like we thought. And it looks like the ferry wants to slope right to left. So if we miss a little bit right, I think that's okay. The line that I'm looking at is actually gonna be right on over towards the flag from where we could see it from the tee box. So that's gonna be the call. We got driver, let's go. All right, well, the uh, GPS is saying that was about a 310 yard drive. There was helping wind, but it's a really tight landing space in the fairway, so I'm not mad that we missed this fairway. Uh, we got 147 playing up to about 157. Again, still helping wind. I'm gonna take nine iron to get to this pin position. A little right. Took a big bounce off something over there on the right side. I don't think we're on. I think that's a little bit too far right to be on the green. But we're gonna go and do what we just did. Drive up, find it, hit it again. Let's go, baby. Slow down. Okay. Oh! It's two. A little bit too much pace. Uh, again, that's just not great knowledge of the course right there when it comes to trying to get up to the screen. That was a back right pin position and there really was not any space to miss it towards the right. That gave you a good look back onto the green. So a little bit of a lesson learned, but man, we're still playing some super solid golf. Hope you guys are enjoying. Let's get at hole number six. Part four, dog leg to the left, 386. I think there is a line that you could take driver here, but I'm not going to just because the landing space that I see in front of me is at most about 280. So we're gonna take three wood, hopefully play a bit of a draw here, just over this left bunker that you see. Should give us about 100 yards in uh, if we hit it well. So here we go. Oh no. Oh, settled in between the bunkers. That's right. Again, with the nine iron, right. Okay, should be chipping from there. Snap. 
Oof. Man, these greens are just running, man. These things are tight, they're short, and they're fast. All right, got to keep that in the back of our mind. Let's move on to hole number seven. All right, hole number seven, part three. Just over water again, and the green is on a little bit of a plateau. It's playing about 195, but we have some pretty significant helping wind behind us. Six irons, the call, full swing. Let's see. Yeah, just pushing all my irons a little bit to the right. I think that should be okay though. It's gonna be off the green, but should be okay. We'll see. Nice shot. A little shorter than I wanted, but hey, it didn't roll 18 feet by the hole. <laughs> Another bogey. What a tee box. <laughs> Par five here in hole number eight, 597 into the fan. Obviously, we're hitting downhill first shot, so it's gonna take a lot of that distance off. Um, we're gonna go right in between these two bunkers. There's a lake to the right, so the miss is definitely gonna be more towards that left bunker than the right one. Well, driver's swinging really nice today. Yeah, right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, <laughs> it had a little power fade on it, and I think the wind started to push it just a little bit to the right, but that's gonna look really cool on the backdrop of the mountains. Hopefully the camera picked all that up because that was sick. Yeah, it landed soft, but it's, it's still rolling. Yeah, I wanted to go left to right, which is exactly what we were hoping for. I don't know how long we have left, but it's definitely birdieable. <laughs> Or so we hope. Let's go. Stay up. Oh, man. The funny thing was I gave that more than I wanted to on that read. Okay, another very tricky tee shot here. Elevated box, super cool. And we have about 220 yards that we need to get to the 150 marker, but it's down the hill. So I'm gonna play a seven wood. I'm gonna try to open up the face a little bit, try to keep this thing from, from drawing as much. I'm gonna play a line that's kind of just over these trees. Hopefully that will give us a safe line. Good execution here, hopefully. Well, we hit it exactly how I meant to hit it. Started on that line with a little fade. Hopefully it's just the right number. Our ball striking lately has just been really, really solid. So you already know what I'm gonna say. Let's go drive, find it, hit it again. <laughs> Looks so good. Oh yeah. Felt good, looked good. Everything about that I think is gonna be very, very good. Let's go, come on. That's a heck of a three. Plus five through nine at Sky Valley. Perfect day outside of maybe the wind's a little windy, but we're dealing with it. We're playing some really solid golf. Hope you guys are enjoying. We're halfway through. So if you have not subbed already, sub. Just get on there, hit the button. It doesn't hurt you at all. If you're liking the content, you've had some smiles, you had some laughs, you had some heartbreaks, hit that sub button. Let's get on to the back. Okay, hole number 10, another par five. Man, they got these things right away for you on the front and on the back, apparently. 541, there's a bunker over to the left, kind of between the bunker and what you'll eventually see is the 150 yard marker. That's gonna be the line. You definitely wanna stay, I think, more left than right here, as it looks like there's a lot of trouble on the right. Just need a nice smooth swing here, get into the fairway, give ourselves a second look. We're just gonna keep playing golf from there. I didn't see it bounce right, which is good news, but it came off the face with a little bit of a push and a little bit of a fade. We'll see, hopefully we stay up and play because I don't think you want to be right here at all. <laughs> okay, pin is like on the front fringe. Got 58 degree. I want to play this thing pretty much on the pin, I think. Oh, that'll work out.
Oh, big save. Come on now. Come on now. The camera never does it justice, but this property is just, it's unbelievable. It is so pretty out here. Oh, man. Yeah, hole up in par three. It's playing about 190, I think, to the back back pin position. And we're gonna, we've got a lot of helping win. So I'm gonna take seven iron here, play a little bit shorter, because I don't think you want to be long or right here. So we're gonna go left of the flag. We'll see, just good strike. It's all we need right now. That's fine. Fine miss. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sit there, stay, stay, stay. Wow, it's still rolling. Nah, man. <laughs> I thought for a second it was gonna go in the hole. Oh, 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 oh. oh I thought for a second it was just gonna take that lip and just fall right in. Oh man. Holy smokes, this course is really tricky as far as the layout is concerned. A lot of elevated tee boxes, actually almost every single tee box has had some sort of elevation play so far, maybe save a couple of par threes. But this one here on hole 12 is a 388 par four, but it's dark landing space. It's like a blind shot here from the back tee box. And I think you don't want to hit anything more than like 200 yards. So I think we're just going to take a nice easy six iron, just get something to play, because I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's actually very confusing, even looking at the map. I want you to do a five here, because I think it's okay to be a little bit long, but then you don't want to be short and you get blocked out. So I'm taking a little bit extra. exactly the line that I want. Yeah, maybe it's a little left, but I like the way I hit it. And I know what tree it went towards, so here's hoping we can find it, because I couldn't any, come anywhere near close to seeing it hit the ground. So, weird layout, but kind of cool. Let's go. Yeah, I think the five with the fade, or to take a more aggressive line, would have been great, but this is still fine. We got about 140. Wind right off the right, so I'm gonna try to go to the right side of this tree, pitching wedge, full swing. See if the wind will kind of guide it in there. What the? I don't know what that just bounced on, but it bounced on something. I don't know what that was. We'll find out. Might be in a little bit of trouble. So unfortunately there's a creek right there. Did not know that. Definitely would have taken more of a hefty number if I knew that we couldn't be short. Uh, again, course knowledge thing. So now we're dropping three, hitting four. Got 58, gonna try to land this about two to three paces on, right side of the flag. Yeah. Didn't give it up. Right, okay, dog leg to the left here for 13. Very deep back tee box here for the blacks. And again, wins off the left, if not a little bit into. So we're gonna try to tee the ball a little bit lower. I'm not gonna overthink it because we're hitting driver really well. So keep that same swing. Oh, the wind is just pulling that. All right, the line that I was on, I think it skittered out of play. There's red stakes just right over here. It's tough, man. I, I thought that driver might be too much, but with the wind, I thought it was gonna be fine. So we're taking a, a bit of a line back from where I think we crossed. We got about 185, 183. I'm gonna take five hybrid here. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. That hit car path and I think it went over the green. Let's hope that's the case, because that was very right. It's got to slow down. It's not going to slow down. Stay there. Stay there. Okay, thank God, because I was about to fall off the front. <laughs> that one just stayed out there. All right. So 500 yard par five dog leg to the right. It is into the fan. So we're taking driver out. We're going just to the left of this tree. Plenty of space to miss to the left. So that's the call. Let's hit it nice and solid. Yeah, fair way, baby.
Yeah, I think we're on. I didn't see where it bounced at, but I know it bounced. Here's hoping we have an eagle putt. Let's go, baby. That's a big four to get one of those strokes back. All right, so this is a 135 par three, but it's it's dead into the fan. The wind's actually getting very aggressive. Um, it's playing down to about 105, but we're taking a pitching wedge, trying to flight this thing as much as we possibly can. Um, I can't get the camera any higher so you guys can see the pin just because of how windy it is. I don't want the camera to fall, so. Pitching wedge, don't want to be short by the look of it. So here we go. <laughs> Man, when you get up on top of these ridges, the wind is just whipping. Down here, it feels pretty pleasant. <laughs> uh, so pitching wedge was the right call, by the way. It was just a little past pin high, but we're gonna just put it over to the right side. Hopefully it trickles down. Pull it down. Look, look at how much that's rolling out. Wow. Should have given a little bit more on that right to left. All right, bogey here. All right, coming into the home stretch, we got about a 320 yard or so, par four. But again, the wind is kind of hurting and off the left here. So we're not gonna be able to come close to really getting there. However, I still think I can get driver to the left side of this middle bunker, kind of in between the left two bunkers. We've been hitting driver really well today. Let's keep it up. That might be in the middle bunker, but hit that really well. That's too long, I think. Maybe not. Could be good. We'll see. That's, I am so happy with that. I just didn't want to be long there. A wide putt for par, 100%. The green just falls straight off back into the fairway, anything past the hole. Again, I, I just have to say, I hope you guys are really enjoying watching this because I'm having so much fun playing and so much fun filming. I just hope that it comes across in the channel for you guys. Leave a comment down below if you like the content. I just want to hear from you guys. Come on, we'll see what we score. I've got no idea where I'm at. I don't care, just having a lot of fun. Let's go, baby. Hole 17, another tricky layout where, again, I think if I know the line, you could probably take driver, but I just don't, I don't see the green. I don't know what the line looks like. So we're just going to take the safe play Try to land in the middle of the landing space. We've got seven wood. I mean, it's exactly how we wanted it. We have a Do the same thing. Off the heel. Yeah, I saw it bounce. It should be okay, but that just came off the heel. Now we pay for the consequences, have to go up and down. Absolutely. Oh, if I hit it, it's in. Okay. All right, final hole out. Dead straight away, par four, beautiful. I mean, this is just such a gorgeous golf course. There's water to the right, but it doesn't really come into play um, really all that much because the miss is 100% left. There's a bunker on the left-hand side that is in play, um, but it shouldn't be a bad shot to get towards that. So going straight on to the 150 yard marker, driver. Got the flight that's a little bit on the low side because this wind is aggressive. Let's see. Yeah, a little right, but I think the distance is actually okay. Yeah, not bad.
Good, good comeback though. Okay. I knew it was downhill and I was like, nah. <laughs> Bogey on the last. Let's wrap up and head back home. All right, they're perfectly average golfers in 84. So we went out and we did what we wanted to do, which was break 85. But a lot of the trouble that we got into today was because we didn't know the course layout. Now that I have that knowledge, and you know, maybe without the excessive winds, I think we could probably take this course pretty low. You gotta keep in mind that this was like a 74 rated course from almost 7,000 yards. So man, I'm really pumped about how we played. That does it from Sky Valley, and this course is unbelievable. So if you're planning on taking a trip to the Cashiers, Franklin, Highlands area, definitely take the extra journey and come out and give Sky Valley some love. A really unique layout, lots of fun, and the conditions were unbelievably pristine on every single hole. So major shout outs to the course, the club, its staff, and anyone else who comes out here and plays regularly because what a treat you've got out here. But make sure you sub if you have not done so already and want to watch more Perfectly Average Golf. And as we sign off, just want to make sure you remember whether it's breaking 80, 90, or 100, make sure you go out there, have some fun, and until next time, stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.